When it does come to foot problems, the number one mistake people make is improper nail cutting. And guess what? That leads to ingrown toenails. So joining Dr. Orton in the procedure room is podiatrist Dr. Philip Radovic. Welcome back to the show. What uh, what do we have going on back there, guys? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna set you straight on how you take care of your toes to prevent an ingrown toenail. So I'm here with foot and ankle surgeon Dr. Philip Radovic, and we have an ingrown toenail that we're going to treat right before your eyes. alondra has been complaining of an ingrown toenail over here on this border for a, a number of years, and she's been uh, taking care of it herself in the bathroom, clipping it, but it keeps recurring. We did her left one about a week ago. We're going to do this one today, um, and it's called a chemical phenyl matricectomy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a permanent correction, so she'll never get this back after this procedure is done. So I'm going to dissect and, this out and you, here. And you have, she, you, she has been She's numb. Been right? numb. You're She's not feeling a thing. Yeah. Right? You're aware of the, <laughs> you a little pressure know. there, but you're not feeling any pain. No, not at all. And if you do, I'm sure we'll hear, right? And you can yes. see here why people get ingrown toenails even after they clip them back because that nail goes all the way back in there where I'm pushing this probe back there. I'm also going to push it up underneath now, here. Now, does this relate to, to something that she was doing wrong in terms of, of care for her nails? No, not necessarily. I mean, it can be. You know, people that get, get ingrown toenails for three reasons. The way they trim their nail uh, by trying to cut it back into the corner, that can cause it. Tight shoe gear like soccer cleats can cause it by pressing up against the other toenail, or just hereditary. They're born with it that yeah, way. Yeah, you told us you're a big soccer player in your day, right? And wearing those cleats to jam those toes together. So probably in her case, that may have been the. Uh, well, there you, you're getting that. You're getting that offending edge of of nail off of the nail bed. Correct. Correct. And I've just. Uh, gone all the way back to the matrix. Now I'm going to take that up, and you can see it looks very small and very thin, but it, you're going to see when I pull just, this out how much a, actually goes back in there. And you're cool. It's fine. I'm fine. You can see you, you only had a, a sliver like so, but the amount that was below that, nicely done. Exactly. That was all ingrown there. And you can see how she's tried to clip that back and that hooks back in there. That's what keeps coming back after she's done it a number of times. So now we're just going to evacuate, get the debris out of here with this curette. And back up under here where I'm pointing, that's where that nail grows from. That's called the, the matrix in mm -hmm. there. And I'm going to put a chemical in there so it kills that root. <laughs> just so, just so that, that leading edge of that nail doesn't grow back. That's what the chemical is going to do. Exactly. And when it's all said and done, just like this one over here, this is what it's going to look like. That's just going to close up like that, and it'll look like a relatively normal nail. But she won't get it ingrown anymore. So we do that with phenol, which is a pretty caustic material. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stick that right in there. But it's just the edge of the nail you've taken off, right? So it'll still look pretty normal. All right. Oh, yeah. It'll look, it'll look just like this with the skin. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the skin closed right up to the nail. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice fit. Now, a question for her patient. What is she going to feel after the procedure? Is she going to be all right? No, yeah, she will. You know, this, will, this numbing medication will wear off. Uh, she'll have a little bit of pain, but just some elevation, Tylenol, that's all she'll need. Okay. Okay. And, and Dr. Radovic, really quickly, for folks at home suffering from ingrown toenails, Let's talk really quickly about a few treatments before you have to get to this point. Sure. Um, you know, trimming your toenail straight across is one, not trying to cut them back too far, too close to the skin here. Um, if you do start getting some soreness in there, soaking them, lukewarm water, Epsom salts, get it soft, try and ply that skin away from the nail. And a lot of times it'll resolve on its own doing that. But uh, don't try and dig back yourself. A lot of patients will come in with ingrown toenails, and they don't look like this. They are looking pretty Red gnarly. And angry that you have Very to eye and D. Absolutely. And uh, you can lose a toe with that, especially if you're a diabetic and have peripheral vascular disease, like the people you were talking about earlier. Great tips. So. Well, once again, you made our entire audience wince. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dr. But thank Radic. you. That well, was so you. educational. Yeah. We appreciate it.